All right, you two. Third and final house, house number three. And what do you think? Contemporary, modern. Yeah, definitely a lot more modern. I'm throwing curveballs at you now at this stage of the day. I've still no idea what you want in your house. <laughs> yep. It's very different inside. It is very contemporary, yep. but it's beautiful. I love this one. Should you want to check it out? Definitely. Let's go. <laughs> Welcome to the free dar. It's nice. It's different. Definitely different. Definitely. It's a bit more rustic as well. First space here, like a breakout space. Now, you know what I'm thinking here? Beauty. Your beauty salon. Exactly. You get them straight definitely. in, get them done. Then you're into this a really like stunning architectural design it's beautiful. space. Yeah. It's really beautiful. It's very open at the same time as well. So I think it's beautiful, but I think like you said, it's more not manly, but I don't know how to say it, just more something you would go for yeah. if you were a bachelor or something. Tools up on the wall or yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I can bike picture that. Museum, yeah. yeah. Well you can definitely soften it with your yeah. finishing things. There's even a fireplace. Have a look at that. Oh that's awesome. Now I want to take you upstairs as always and go and check out this master room because awesome. I think this might get you over line. Sounds good. In terms good. of your little love pad that you want to create. So what are you thinking with this area? Because you could have your salon downstairs. Yeah. It's gonna be the games room, but Man Cave. Yeah. Netflix. Yeah. <laughs> Netflix and chill. Yeah, one of those days, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Look at you giggling. Well, I think with this room, you know, there's plenty of options. That's the beauty of this house. I feel really cozy. Yeah, in definitely. Here, you know? So, master room. Ooh, very nice. Ooh. Yeah. It's bigger than what it looks. Yeah, that way makes bigger. sense. How cool is it? You've got like um, this window. It's just stunning, really. And you've yeah. got windows down Sunny here day. as well. Sunny day. Really nice. View at the window as well. It's, it's like nice. contemporary. Yes. Yeah. It really is. And this is a real sanctuary because it's kind of over upstairs at the back yeah. of the house. Yeah, definitely. Natural light. And you've got a Lauren, mm. a walk-in wardrobe. I already saw. Yes, yeah, so go on, go and have a look. <laughs> it's very spacious. It definitely is. Can I have his and her side? Or I can have There's both. Big drawers here as well. So. Yeah. I think I'll definitely have this wardrobe and then you can have one of the other rooms. Definitely. Treat storage. Oh wow, could fit a lot in there. Yeah, it's big. Definitely. And we can each have our own drawer. It's big. Yeah, it's good. Especially for a spare bedroom. Yeah. Oh. Would you be able to reach that though? No. Nah. Storage, storage, storage. Yeah, it's awesome. Storage, 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 storage. It's taken me a lot to find a kitchen with this much storage. Yeah, yeah definitely. Well, I'm flummoxed almost at the end of the episode and I have no idea what they're going to buy. Such lovely people, but I want them to grab me and shake me and go, this is what I want. This is the problem with house hunting, you know, you just can't please everybody. But I've had some glimmers of hope today and I'm pretty keen to see what they're gonna choose right after the break. This house is the Frida 28. It is so beautiful. For those who like that upmarket kind of warehousey apartment feel, this is a two-story home that delivers a homely feel at the same time. If you wanna check out this house, have a look at premiumhomes.com.au. And after the break, it's decision time.